Hi, this is Kerwin, and uh, I haven't done a video blog for quite a while, an update on video. And I wanted to share with you the results of the most recent CAT scan. And I have those images, there's like 1400 images on this right here, this disc, that show before and after images of the, the results of the radiation and the chemotherapy. I finished radiation a few weeks back and I'm on chemotherapy again and the radiation treatments uh, like I said I think of my last video blog um, had a, quite a bit of negative effects on me and I'm still suffering from those effects so there's a lot of pain and different things in it pain lasts for hours at a time and um, you know it's not something I would wish on anybody but it is hopefully um, making some improvements concerning the cancer. So it's kind of, it's hard to uh, decipher what the images say, but when the doctors explained it to me, it shows that there's improvement in every one of these areas, and that's uh, that's good. I'm really glad to see that for, with my own eyes, and I wanted to share that with you. Uh, there was a spot on my. Um, close to the sciatica, which is the nerve center. And that's where a lot of the pain is coming from is because the radiation, they hit that with radiation along with my pelvis and the original tumor, which is a colorectal tumor. And so all those spots are also smaller. I'm feeling better today than I have in weeks. And I'm really happy about that. Um, I have been at home I haven't gone anywhere except for the hospital until today. Today I felt good enough to go to the bank and the grocery store by myself. But other than that I haven't gone anywhere except for the hospital in the last couple weeks because of the pain and the other side effects. I've just kept me kind of stranded at home. And I'm okay being at home by myself and things. Um, it's. I have a lot of pain and when the pain hits me it can last for a couple hours at a time before I fall asleep or before the pain subsides. Um, and I'm taking different medications to help relieve different types of pain because there's different types of pain I'm experiencing. But um, I've, I'm feeling very, very good today in comparison to the last couple weeks and I hope this continues because uh, the last few weeks were not, not good. And um, my daughter was just like, Daddy, you need to shave. And I was like, well, I'm not going anywhere. So I've been getting kind of scruffy. I actually have a Christmas party tonight. And my daughter has a Christmas program at church tomorrow that she's dancing, singing in, and stuff like that. And then she has a ballet recital next week. And uh, I want to go to those things. And I'm hoping I can feel good enough to go. I think I'll shave after I finish this video. I want to say thank you to all of those who have uh, sent emails and made phone calls and stuff to encourage me. And for those that have made donations, I've just been blown away by some people's generosity and, and I really appreciate that. Um, our finances, my wife knows the figures better than I do and I don't have a total, but I know that uh, the uh, total cost for health care um, is well over $130,000. So we have a large deductible because we just can't afford insurance with a small deductible. Um, used to have a $2,000 deductible and now I have a $6,500 deductible. And then after that we still have a copay and it's like 25%. And there's a cap on that, which is good. But it still adds up to thousands and thousands of dollars of out-of-pocket expenses that we've incurred. Not to mention the fact that I don't work anymore. Um, I don't know when I can work. I'm hoping I can start doing a few projects a month, video projects that I can get paid for. I have people call me asking me if I'm available and right now I'm just not available. I just can't take my camera gear out and shoot anything and I I haven't sat at my computer for personal reasons much less work reasons for quite a while and so 
if I can get back to doing that, you know, that's going to help a lot too. But um, the fact is that I'm I'm on disability too, but disability doesn't kick in until February of 2015. So I don't have any income coming in right now except for my wife's job and some gifts and stuff from people like you. I do my best to uh, implement the knowledge and the information that people have given me. Sometimes it's not for me and sometimes it has been. And um, so, you know, I just kind of I'm going day by day trying to manage the pain, trying to put myself in a position where I can heal faster and get back to a normal life. Um, you know, it's been a, a real painful journey, and um, but I haven't given up hope, because I have hope, and uh, I haven't given up um, the will to live, I haven't given up my faith in uh, the doctors, my faith in God, and I haven't given up, you know, hope of uh, getting back to a normal life. All those things are still out there and I'm still working towards that end and uh, expect to get back to some sort of normal <laughs> in um, maybe the next couple months. Thank you.